In Oklahoma, they are now estimating the damage done by Monday's tornado to be around $2 billion. Around 13,000 homes were damaged or destroyed. President Barack Obama also announced today that he plans to visit the area on Sunday. Uh, we are, for the first time, seeing the chaotic moments after a tornado struck an elementary school. This was a scene outside Briarwood Elementary, immediately after the deadly EF5 tornado ripped through. As you can see, many of the students were crying and in complete shock. The death toll from Monday's twister still stands at 24. The task of recovery is underway in Oklahoma tonight. The Red Cross has arrived to help. Action News 5's Lauren Squires is in Moore, Oklahoma, live for us tonight with the very latest developments. Lauren. Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's one of those days where things have shifted from rescue and recovery to clean up. And today, thousands, hundreds, if not thousands of people have come here to Moore to help with the cleanup process volunteers on hand, specifically two of them from the Mid-South. And this afternoon, we caught up with one of them. That's Peggy Young of Memphis. She's riding with a crew from Jackson, Tennessee. They were dropping off hot meals to one of the shelters here and more, and then loading their truck with water, snacks, and other supplies, only to take those out to some of the hardest hit areas. Today, some people being getting the chance to go back to their homes for the very first time so very much needing some of that water and snacks. Now, Young says she had two hours to get ready after she got the call, and she did whatever she needed to help. Trying to find out, the get organized first day out for the herbs to really get in there and help people out. And so just uh, getting all the assignments and where you go and who you help. And, and take a left and go all the way down. Now get this, Peggy is actually going to be here for two to three weeks. Yes, I said weeks. And based on what we saw here today, she is certainly needed. It will likely change, her job duty will change as time goes on, but a lot of cleanup yet to be done here. Just to give you an idea, behind me, I've got a bowling alley, what used to be a bowling alley. You can see the little lanes behind me, but it's all demolished. The debris is everywhere, even in our live shot. Now coming up tonight at 10, we found a connection right here in Moore to the Mid-South that also shows you the difference in the tornado damage. Literally houses down the street untouched, other houses completely destroyed. We'll hear from a family that has connections to the Mid-South coming up tonight at 10. For now, live in Moore, Oklahoma, Lauren Squires, Action News 5. And we want to say thank you to all of our viewers who donated to help the Red Cross. We raised over $36,000 for the relief efforts in Oklahoma, and it's all thanks to your generosity. It's not too late to donate. You can still text to Red Cross 90999 to donate $10, or you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS. This video just into our news.